Hello, my name is John and I'm the Science Education Manager here at Children's Museum Houston. Today we are going to learn a little bit about the water cycle. Now raise your hand if you know what one of the last steps of the water cycle is. Let's say it together. Runoff! For this activity, you'll need a sheet of paper, different colors of markers, a cup of water with a pipette, but if you don't have a pipette, you can very easily use a little scoop or spoon to pour your water. Now the first step is to take your sheet of paper, I actually want you to crumple it up into a little ball. So crumple it up, unroll it a little bit. We want as many crinkles and creases as possible. And then we'll crinkle it again. And then we're gonna unroll it. And now, from a bird's eye view, this looks like a mountain range. Once you have your mountain range, you take different colored markers and you'll start coloring along the highest parts of your paper or along the tops of the mountains. Another word you could use is the ridge line. So this is where all the mountain peaks kind of link up. And you can actually use different colors. I like to use different colors because we can represent different things. So this could be, this blue could just be pure water. This runoff hasn't picked up anything going down the mountains. Now we could use green to represent maybe some grass clippings that were left on your yard. Because runoff, remember, is where water starts all the way up at the top and it goes all the way down to the lowest elevation possible. And then we could use red, maybe you use some sidewalk chalk. And we'll have some red in the lower elevation down in maybe some neighborhoods or something. So that once you have colored all the ridges that you want to, you're then gonna take your water, if you have a pipette, you'll start dripping little droplets along the top of your paper or where you colored. And you can watch where the water starts to fall and run. If you're using a little scoop, you can do the same thing. You might just produce a little more of a flash flood <laughs> than I am with the pipette. But either one will work just as well. And so you'll keep adding water and making it rain all over your mountain range and you can see what is picked up during the rainstorm. So you can see where I dropped water right here, the water picked up all these grass clippings and it's taking it down to a lower point. The sidewalk chalk was picked up and it was taken down. We're kind of building a little bit of a lake here. And you can just keep adding water to see how where the water starts to flow and run into different lakes and rivers. Thanks for tuning in to learn a little bit more about the water cycle. Now, if you guys are following us on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button to see all of the new content that's coming out every day. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a wonderful day. See you next time.